Hola chavos, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Monica. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining. So today I am going to go over how I got on how to get away with murder. If you guys want to follow me on any socials, Instagram and Facebook is Monica Leticia with two eyes at the end of Leticia. And my Twitter is Monica R. Rio. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys. So Thanks for sticking around for this video. I know that um, I myself, I mean, who doesn't? I feel like everyone kind of secretly has this dream in them. Or I may be wrong. Maybe I'm like full of it. But I feel like everyone secretly has like this um, dream in them to be like the next Jennifer Aniston, the next, you know, Angelina Jolie. I know I do. Like I am obsessed with like old time Hollywood movie stars, like from, you know, anyway, I'm just like rambling on. I know that it takes a lot of courage to do this. Like I am about to post my first little skit. It's super short on Instagram where like, I don't have anybody coaching me because I do my very first post on my Instagram account. It's like, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's me doing a um, monologue, but I had a lot of training for that monologue. I had my professor who used to be um on broadway in new york city like he like basically taught me everything i know he was right there telling me you need to change your tone from this to this and you need to look like this so i had somebody like i really feel like i did so amazing in that monologue but then again i had somebody completely coaching me I spent hours on it and on this little um dialogue that i'm gonna post on instagram it was just like myself i saw it on instagram and i was like i am obsessed with like these like old time black and white movies so i was like let me just go ahead and reenact it um so i do know that it takes a lot of courage i'm not gonna lie like i'm like really nervous <sighs> just because there's like a lot of mean people and like i know people are gonna laugh behind my back and whatever but so whatever you're doing just don't stop know that it's not okay for people to go and laugh about you behind your back it's not okay for people to say hurtful things about you behind your back Half of the time, these people who are talking about us, they do not have the courage to do what we do. Um, and I know that a lot of people are going to watch and like, wish that they had the courage that I have to go after this dream of mine. And sometimes our dreams seem so much bigger than us. And I know that mine definitely is, but I like to, I like to give everything I love and everything that I have a passion for a try because if I don't try, what is the point of me being here? You know, like I just always feel like I have such a greater purpose in life. I am just like talking so much, but basically what I want to say is if you have a dream and the dream feels like it's like completely out of reach, trust me, I know the feeling, but please do not, do not give up, and here is why. Okay, so we are going to get into how I got on how to get away with murder, and I was actually on set with, with Viola Davis and the other African-American guy, um, I can't remember his name, I should have Googled his name, but he's like bald and really tall. Um, he's very handsome, but I was actually on set with both of them, so I, I'm going, before I, this story turns into like a big mess of like over here and over there, I am just going to start off with how I got on there. So first and foremost, I want you guys to know and to be aware, to be very, very careful with scams. So there's a lot of agencies that are a scam. So obviously the one quick way that you'll know is that you should never, ever pay for anything. Um, they're supposed to pay you. You're the one that is working for them. So thanks to my sister Aide, because it really is in like who you know and um, who's going to tell you where to go and what to do and like really what's legit. So she's friends with one of the guys from Fear the Walking Dead. He's an actor on that show. And he, so she reached out to him and told him, hey, my little sister has dreamt of being an actress her whole life. Like, is there anything that you could do to help her? Blah, blah, blah. Anything that you recommend? He's like, yes, to her to go here, blah, blah, blah. She passed on all this information from him, which I am so thankful because like many of us, I had no idea where to start. So she told me where to go. It did take me about two months to be able to um, be able to work for this agency because, you know, it's LA. Everyone has the same big dream. So it took about two months for me to be able to get in with them. 
and honestly like it wasn't even that bad to wait that long like I felt like the process went super quick so once you sign up with them you have to reserve a spot you have to be on their website you show up to their um, casting agency which is in LA um, you line up and a lot of people always show up I don't know like thinking that maybe they're gonna be able to get in they don't know that there's a whole registration prior to the final registration so um, you show up you they take you into this big room it's a bunch of you and you kind of start talking to everyone this was like has been like hey mama hey mama my dog <laughs> you go into this big room and this is like my favorite part that you get to meet like so many other people with the same dream and it's just it feels nice being around people who understand what you want and who you have common interests with so they start telling you like oh i've worked on this and i've worked on that and blah 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 i've been trying to get in with them and like some people are like i've been trying to get in with them for a year so then when people were telling me that they were trying to get in with my casting agency for a year and it only took me two months i was like wow like i am so blessed like everything i see everything as a sign okay so anyway we start talking they give us like a few minutes to chat then the the um casting agents come out and they talk to you and they tell you how everything works it's basically kind of like orientation when you get hired at like any other job like any other corporate job or whatever um and they have you fill out an application they have you um see if you're union or non-union if you're with sag or if you're with after all that good stuff if you're like with sag and after then you get paid a lot more but to sign up with sag and after i think it's like three thousand to five thousand dollars which is almost as much as taking the bar exam and it's like a, it's a very very long process they take all of your measurements because when you do go in for like actual jobs they put you in their wardrobe and all of this um so they take all of your measurements they ask you um what roles you could play so this is really important which i didn't know they ask you um in the paperwork if you could play a cop if you could play a nurse like and so when i was feeling mine i was like oh i don't like i've never done none of this like i can't play this no and then the girl that was sitting next to me, she's like, put that you could play all that. She's like, think of like Halloween costumes that you have. She's like, do you have a cop Halloween outfit? I was like, oh my God, like I have all this. She's like, put all that. That's just what they want. Sometimes they, they'll like call you in as a background actor. And sometimes they'll want you to bring your own costume. So she's like, put anything. She's like, they give you at least 24 hour notice. So in case you don't have what is something specific that they're asking you for, you at least have a few hours to go get it. Unless you, um, unless you are a rush cop. So I'll explain what that is right now. Um, so I did, I filled all of that out. Um, they ask you if you're willing to um, have your car available for scenes. And she's like, put yes and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, okay, so I was putting yes for everything, which was so good because if not, I don't think I would have gotten the job offers that I got, which again, I'll get into it. Like I'm gonna go like step by step. Um, so yeah, that's the first day you're filling out all the paperwork. They're fill they're taking all of your measurements. Um, they tell you how they go over like harassment. You can be like if you have any complaints, all of that, you know, just think of this again. I'm going to go back to this. Just think of it like if it's orientation for like any other regular job. Um, so once they fill out you, once they get all of your information, um you're lined up so that they could take a headshot and a full body shot so i remember exactly what i was wearing i wasn't sure like what to wear so i was like okay i'm gonna go dress like if i'm going to a job interview right like i gotta take this as professional as i can um which i could have probably not gone as dressed up because some people went like super casual but i just wanted to look nice so i wore like a um a saco i don't know what that's called but you know oh i oh a blazer a blazer i wore a blazer um uh, black blazer black slacks um a pop of color so i wore yellow yellow top and some cheetah print high heels i had to keep it like fashion you know because i wanted to showcase like a little bit of who i am because when the casting directors see this is what the cat so okay i'm like getting off topic again so that's what i went dressed as i, I straightened in my hair i wore very little bit of makeup i didn't even wear mis um lashes i wore mascara and i straightened in my hair so they take your picture and so crazy because they have pictures of previous actors from like the headshots and and um full body shots that they take of you that original photo they have pictures of um actors who have made it big so eva longoria was on there the girl from pretty little liars was on there the girl um dan humphrey's best friend what was her name oh vanessa vanessa was on there 
um, Olivia, uh, is it Olivia Munn or Olivia Nunn? But that girl was on there. Um, the guy, just a bunch of, a bunch of like big time actors have gone through this casting agency. So I was like, oh my God. And so many of them, you guys look so different. You know, after like Botox and fillers, but nothing like super major, you know? Um, so after that, I think that I honestly don't even remember how long it took. I just remember, I feel like maybe it took like anywhere from two to four hours. I just don't remember. I just know it was a long process. I was just so excited that like time went by for me so fast, but I just remember looking at the time like, dang, like four hours later, but I was just really excited. So yeah, so that is the process of signing up. Then they send you on your way and they tell you, okay, you could, um, now that you're registered with us, you could either go on our website. Look, every day they're posting jobs. Obviously not right now because of COVID, but every day they're posting jobs and you could either submit yourself for the job or you can wait for um, the casting agents to reach out to you if they like your your headshot and your profile shot. So basically when cat this is what they told us so i'm just like kind of relying this i'm just like giving you guys this information so basically um casting agents whenever they need to fill um a role or background extras or whatever thing they work on like every show that you could possibly think of okay like everything they look through the database and they say looking for like woman who looks to be so i put that i look like i could be like from 17 to 30 years old because in my headshot and profile pic, I look super young because of how simple I did my makeup, um, which really worked out for me. But anyway, I'll tell you guys that right now. Um, so they search their database for whatever. Oh, looking for this, looking for that. So because I put all of those qualifications that I told you guys on my application, I pop, I pop up a lot for them. So um, my first call I remember was... Like I said, they tell you to submit for jobs yourself or wait for somebody to call you. I never submitted myself for any jobs at all. Um, I was kind of just like, oh, this doesn't fit my demographic because sometimes they're very specific. They want like African American woman, super slim, or they'll be like, um, need Hawaiian or like, they're just like super specific with the look that they want um or they'd be like i need a size two i'm like i am definitely not a size two you know um so i remember my first call was for um a movie on netflix i was so upset because i sit with my phone on do not disturb so i missed a text message by the time i responded they had already booked somebody for the role um, after that i kind of stopped putting my phone on do not disturb um but I remember my second role was How to Get Away with Murder, which is the whole reason why we are doing this video. But I have been asked to be on How to Get Away with Murder, which is, has been my first legitimate, legitimate acting job. I wrote them all down right here. After that, I was asked to be on Good Trouble as um, a teenager. <laughs> so um, I was asked to be... So yeah, so Good Trouble, um, I had to deny that one because the day that they were shooting, I had a midterm, which totally broke my heart, which makes me think like maybe I should drop out of college. Just kidding. Another show that I was asked to be on was Big Shot and AP Bio. So the only show that I have said yes to has been How to Get Away with Murder because um, school and work have always been a conflict, but um this year i had said like i'm just gonna make this a priority but then COVID happened so here we are um but so let's go ahead and get into finally why we are on here on the how to get away with murder so they send you the casting director sends you a text message and it's always different ca casting directors so i actually have every single text message saved with all of the information on my phone because i like to go back and read them just because I remember when I got the first one, I was just so happy and excited. So I like to go back and read them and kind of just remind myself of how happy and giddy and like just excited I was that they wanted me for these shows, you know? They send you a text saying, hey, I am, and their name. 
please let us know if you are available on so and so at these studios for how to get away with murder and then at the very bottom it'll say please respond yes or no we are only checking availability so when they send you these text messages you have to be like quick you have to respond right away because they are sending these text messages to a whole bunch of other actors and basically whoever responds first is going to get it and i think for this one they got like 10 or 15 of us because this was just as an extra we didn't have any lines or anything so they needed a bunch of extras we were going to be in an air like an airport it wasn't really an airport though um so i responded yes and then they booked me right away um so and so has you booked for how to get away with murder um, and so and so should your availability change please let us know are you still available please only respond yes or no and they're very specific about that please only respond yes or no like please do not have try to have a whole conversation with these acting directors just like with these with these um i keep on saying acting directors with these casting agents just follow their instructions i responded yes right away and um Within like 30 minutes or like, I want to say maybe like 15 to 30 minutes, I'm sure he was like making his roles, like calling everybody. Um, I got a call from him and he's like, he was so nice, you guys. I was literally so nervous. Like I wanted to cry. I was like, I can't believe this is happening because I have been scammed so many times. Well, not, I have, they have tried to scam me so many times. I never went through with it though because it was like an outrageous amount of money. I was just so freaking happy. I was like... Like, I was like, hello, and they're like, hi, is this Monica? I'm like, yeah, this is she. And then he's like, oh, this is so-and-so with da -da 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 studios. I'm like, oh, yeah, how are you? And he tells me um, where the scene is taking place, what is expected of me, like, the time, when I should be there, all of this. So he's like, you have to log on to here. Um... We need you to bring some stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, you have my number, give me a call back. This is the code for you to get into the specific casting website. Well, it's not a separate website. It's like on their website, but you, you click the description of the how to get away with murder. You put in a code and it gives you the whole breakdown, like what the scene is about, where it's taking place or where it's supposedly supposed to be taking place. Cause um, obviously we were in California and the scene supposedly was taking place. I think it was Philly in February, so I guess over there it snows. It was either Philly or Pennsylvania. I'm so sorry, I can't remember. Wherever it snows, but it, I just remember it was taking, we shot in August of last year, but the scene was taking place in February in an um, airport parking lot structure. So um, you show, so you're like, okay, yeah, I'm good, like I got it. So they will literally message you the day before, and I'm pretty sure they do that like for safety reasons, so that somebody doesn't have like the opportunity to talk about it a lot or say oh my god like so and so is gonna be here this day she's gonna be shooting like i know you're her big fan like come try to catch her outside or to take a picture or something you know i'm pretty sure that is why so the next day of course i was super nervous i left like five hours before because i always get lost and you know i had to drive to even though it was only an hour away but you know la traffic is always like super crazy which was perfect because i got there with like 10 minutes to spare because I did get lost and there was a lot of traffic and the um the studios it's it was like it was like so big and i had to be on stage what stage was it stage seven and it was so hard for me to find it so finally i found it i thought i was gonna have to park on the street i was like oh my god like i can't park on the street then i'm gonna be like walking all over the place you know so i was like let me just try to go in through here um, I had came prepared, I had came ready because they wanted me to dress like if it was winter and keep in mind it was February in California, it was freaking hot that day. I was wearing pants, boots, a long sleeve, I took like gloves and a, and a beanie but obviously I wasn't wearing those at the time, I just like was carrying them around with me. Um, oh and I want to give you guys a tip, always always bring a few extra changes of clothes because sometimes 100% of the time if they don't like what you're wearing, they're going to say, okay, let me see what else you brought. Because they might want you to change your pants or anything like that. And there is a wardrobe. But I showed up to the gate. Um, you go through security, obviously. And I was just like, hi, um, I'm here as a background actress for How to Get Away with Murder. And he was so nice. I'm telling you guys, everybody was so nice. He was like, oh, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. Like, 
They give me this little pass. Hold on, I just need to cover like some info. They give you like this little pass. They give you this little pass. It's got my name on there. It's got the destination, how to get away with murder, season six, where I go. And you basically have to have this on you the whole time. Um, just to make sure that like you have permission to be there, you know, to be on set. I walked on to set, you guys, and it was just like everything I imagined that it would be. They had like, you know, like when it's like houses and like shows or movies, like it's not really a house, like, which I kind of knew that, but it just looks so realistic on TV when you're like, oh, that's probably a real house. Like, no, dude, like they had like these houses built and set, like they had all the lights. It was just like what my dreams are made of. Like literally, like the set was everything I expected it to be and more. Obviously, I must have looked like super excited because I walked in and I was like, <gasps> like I didn't even think like, oh shit, where do I go from here, you know? But I was just like looking at everything and I was like, this is so freaking cool. Like I was just like speechless. And then one of the um, casting agents, I can't remember her name, but she was so nice too. She comes up to me and she's like, are you an extra for how to get away with murder? I'm like, oh yeah, hi, I'm Monica, blah, blah. You know, like super excited talking to her. She's like, all right, come follow me over here. You're this way. So I'm just like following her, you know, like behind, it's like so huge in there. I follow her and she's, she like starts giving me directions. Like this is what's going to happen. You have to fill this out because... Um, every time that you go into a new, like, um, a new job for different shows, you fill out this paperwork because they have to pay you, obviously, but they pay you through your casting agency. Um, so I filmed that out and then, um, we waited for everybody to get there. First, they take us to hair and makeup. So they walk you over to hair and makeup and it's like, just like what you see on TV, dude, like, I just wish everyone could, I wish I could have vlogged there, but, oh, another thing, like, you can't, like, um, be filming while you're on set or taking pictures because it's all super like, you know It's a show that like nobody can know what's happening until it actually airs So you can't have um, you can have your phone with you But you can't be like filming or taking pictures or anything like that But they walk you over to hair and makeup and it's like those big like van or like big RVs You know that you see the famous people in that's what, what it is um the hair and makeup people come and look at you if they like your look you're good to go back for a wardrobe if not they like do whatever they want um so after that you walk back to wardrobe and keep in mind dude like a lot of the stuff it's like it was in february and you do a lot of walking it was so hot that day and you're dressed like if it's snowing because that's what you need to look like for the scene that you're gonna film um we, we went back to wardrobe. They did dress me up a little bit more than I already was. Um, they gave me a big old pink coat. It was like, oh my God, like the heaviest coat ever. They altered it because I'm like short. So the sleeves were like all the way over here. Um, she gave me gloves and she gave me like a beanie. Um, and I think at the, oh, I think at the time I had blue nails and the wardrobe girl, she had blue nails too. So we like bonded over acrylic nails. She was super cool. Um, and then after that you go back into waiting and then I think we waited for like 30 minutes and then they take us back into, well, they tell us, okay, you guys are ready. Everyone's ready. You all look dapper. Go ahead and go on to set. So we go on to set. Um, and it's like the scene is in a parking structure. So the parking structure looks like like a regular parking structure except it says like philly national airport or pennsylvania i'm so sorry i wish i remembered but it says like the airport and like a bunch of like airport signs to make it look like a like a parking lot like an airport parking lot structure and then i'm sorry if this is all over the place but if you guys have any questions just message me and i will answer um but what was i saying oh yeah so they have like craft service they have you guys it was just like it was so amazing for me They're, they have craft service for you um they have chairs for you to sit on while other scenes are taking place and you kind of have to wait around for whenever it's your turn 
there's this like whole production with like a hundred people like i could you not if, like if okay maybe i'm exaggerating maybe it was like 30 people which i don't know if it was like the hair makeup people but for sure it was like the directors the producers it's just like so many people and then i see viola davis walk i'm like oh my fucking god like i'm on set with viola davis like that's all i thought like how like how did I get to this point in my life, you know? And so they're filming the scene. They film the same shot for about two hours, which is so crazy. But finally it was my turn. And they're like, um, I don't know if he was like a director or producer, I, I don't know. But he says, um, he calls my name. He's like, Monica Aguilar and I'm like, <laughs> I'm so, but I was just like, kind of like this. It was, you guys, keep in mind, this was like 10 hours in, okay? There's, we did a lot that day, but this was like 10 hours in. Okay, I'm being dramatic. This was probably like seven hours in. And I was like sitting in my chair like this, and I was just so tired. I had gotten there like when the when the um, sun was out, and the sun had already gone away. I was just so tired from like everything that we had done. And I'm like sitting like this, and I'm like thinking like don't fall asleep and then the director producer I'm pretty sure it was a director for sure because this is why he goes Monica Aguilar where's Monica Aguilar I'm like <gasps> I was like I'm right here I was like I'm right here and um okay I wasn't that dramatic but I felt like that's what I look like and he kind of like hey, are you ready for your scene I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. He's like, okay, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna be right behind Viola Davis and the other guy, I can't remember his name, damn it. Um, and then he's like, this is all you're gonna be doing. Like these suitcases don't have anything in them. It was like super small, but I'm super proud of it. He's like, um, you're just gonna be putting the suitcases in your car like you're like you're just like a normal person. Just like, just keep in mind, do this really slowly because Viola Davis's scene is about 60 seconds long. So you don't wanna look like you're rushing it. He's like, take your time, kind of look at the suitcase, make sure it's closed. When you're putting it in the trunk of the car, kind of move it around. And like, he was like being like really specific to what I wanted, to what I had to do. And I remember Viola Davis was like just looking at us and like as he was telling me what to do. And I looked over at her and I locked eyes with her and she goes, and I go, like I, I don't know why i got scared but like when she smiled at me i just went i like couldn't even smile back i felt like such a doofus and then they tell you like you're not allowed to like talk to like the big time actors you know unless I, like unless they like come over and talk to you then go ahead but like like they tell you don't bother them they like need to stay in character blah 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 like they're at work and you're at work be professional you know so i was just like super like nervous like i'm not gonna i'm never gonna forget that like she probably forgot about it already but i was just like <laughs> i was just like oh god and then i was like oh my god i was like don't be suspicious don't be suspicious um but yeah dude we filmed that scene probably like 20 times so can you just imagine me it was so hot with my big old coat, my gloves, like just everything, just putting suitcases in, back and forth. And then this thing got cut. I didn't even make it on. I watched the whole season looking. Well, I didn't watch it. I was like watching, like, you know what I mean? Like looking for the scene, but the scene got cut, which happens a lot. And her scene got cut too, because that whole conversation that she had with the guy was never in any of the episodes. So it must have not been so important. So finally, we, it was a wrap, like at 1 a.m. I wanna say it was like at 1 a.m. when we finally finished. And it's really cool because, um, oh, but really quickly going back, um, they have craft services and she, like Viola Davis would like go and eat the food. And it was like Mexican style because it was like tacos and guac and sour cream. They had like a bunch of dessert. They have water there for you. They have Gatorades. Um, but it was cool, like she would go, like I remember at some point I was gonna go and grab some water and I saw her standing there, I was like, nope! Like I just turned back around and went and sat down, I was like, I can't do it. Like I was just so nervous like to be around her, like I didn't want to bother her or anything like that. Um, so I just waited for her to go sit down, but she, um, when other actors, um, and again I wish I remembered their names, but if you guys watch How to Get Away with Murder, 
the main actors were all there. So whenever she was filming a scene, well, I mean, whenever she wasn't filming a scene, she would just sit down like on her chair and eat and talk to people and stuff. Um, she didn't talk to any of the extras though. She didn't do that. So why didn't you? Just kidding. Um, so afterwards, when we all wrapped up, they were like, it's a wrap for the day. Well, they didn't say it's a wrap. They didn't say that. They just said, okay, we're done for the day. Good job, everybody. And then they kind of say like, thank you. And thank you for working the long hours. One thing I am going to tell you guys that is not glamorous at all. Like if you think that going into this, it's going to be all glam and this and fancy and sparkles. It's not. It is not. <laughs> it is hard work. It takes a lot of dis dedication and discipline, but it's worth it. And like I was telling you guys, the scene that I was in got cut and I didn't even care that it got cut because I took from this so much knowledge. It was such an amazing experience for me. I've never in my life experienced anything like this. Just being there with her on set was just so cool to me. And then it's really like the people that you meet there and they like get you kind of connected with their people and it's just, if you're going to go into this, know that it's not easy. Um, and it does take a lot of dedication. You have to be serious about it if this is what you want. That was my experience being on set with How to Get Away with Murder. I am forever thankful, so, so happy. Um, my dream is to be a big screen actress. I would have loved to have been like on an Avengers movie. I want to do shows like um, Elite. Pretty Little Liars, um, Gossip Girl. I love shows like that, but I also love shows like How to Get Away with Murder, Law and Order. Basically, throw me into anything and I could get in character. And see, just kidding. But so I'm not gonna give up, you guys. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on doing these jobs and uh, presenting myself in a way that will call attention to me. Um, so that I could book bigger roles and eventually get to where I want. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, please give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.